up, gentlemen. Are you ready to totally destroy that incredible chest of yours? If the answer is yes, drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, let's do this. So here's the deal. We are all stuck at home, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to actually take you through one of my favorite chest and tricep home workouts. The only thing you're going to need for this workout is your sexy ass body and two chairs. Now, you could use folding chairs, or you could use like dining room chairs. I've created three different chest and tricep supersets. Each superset, you're gonna do three times before moving on to the next one. Now, the thing you need to understand, if you're new to this, if you're not used to working out, you need to just listen to your body. If you try any of the exercises and you're like, ow, shit, alpha, that hurts, right? That is a sign that you probably don't need to be doing that exercise or we need to modify it. I'm gonna attempt to show you some modifications to make all of the exercises a little bit easier. I'm gonna link and list all the exercises in order down below. Also, below this video, I'm gonna link to today's video sponsor, Beam. Beam is an incredibly exciting new supplement company that I have fallen in love with. They sell the best pre-workout, if you guys are into pre-workouts, I've ever used. They use like real caffeine, so you get like super energy, but you don't get like the nervous jitters and protein. Guys, they're like the farm to table protein company. They are doing some incredibly exciting things. They're infusing like probiotics into all of their protein. They've got whey protein protein, the salted peanut butter is ridiculous, the chocolate is insane, but they also have a vegan protein. I'll tell you a little bit more about Beam a little bit later on in the workout, but guys, hit that link down below or go to youcanbeam.com, but make sure to use the code alpha to get an incredible deal on some incredible supplements. Gentlemen, it is time to work out. So the first exercise and the first superset is straight up push-ups, all right? We're warming our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps up. All right, our hands are gonna be about shoulder width apart. Your body is gonna be nice and straight and you are coming down with the pause and up. Remember, gentlemen, just like all of the other workout videos, I talk a lot about form. I also talk about the speed, all right? The speed in which you perform an exercise is going to be the difference between you actually feeling it and getting in there and destroying those muscle fibers and you just going through the motions, all right? We're shooting for 10 to 15 push-ups. Now, if this is a little bit too challenging, what I want you to do to modify is just go to your knees, right? Anything that I show you in terms of a push-up, you can always try it on your knees. But if not, you're right here. We are going nice and slow. All right, 10 to 15 reps. When you're finished, you're going right into what I call a close grip push-up. You're going to grab the chair on the outside, right? You're going to be right here, okay? Your body is nice and straight. You're coming down and you're squeezing up, all right? Down and up. Down and squeeze up. Down, squeeze, all right? Notice, once again, go nice and slow. Little pause at the bottom, pause at the top. And the whole idea is that you're squeezing the chest, all right? This is an incredibly challenging exercise right after push-ups, all right? We're going 10, 12, maybe 15 reps, depending on you and how you're feeling, all right? After you're finished, we're going right into tricep dips. So for tricep dips, I'm gonna be using two chairs, all right? I'm gonna come in here, all right? I'm gonna hold each of the chairs right here, all right? Now, if you have any shoulder issue, this is not a great exercise for you, all right? If you're not strong enough, you can always put your feet down and let your feet sort of assist you in doing this exercise, all right? Here we go, your feet are straight, you're coming down, and you're pressing up, Woo! Down and up. Down, up, oh my God. Down, up, down and up and rest. Woo! So that is your first set. All right, what I want you to do now is rest for about 60 seconds. Now, if you wanna do some type of active rest, whether or not it's crunches, all right, step ups, or just like side taps, like just moving, whatever you wanna do, but you're resting for about 60 seconds. If you just need to sit down, chill, get a drink, do that, I don't care. When you're finished and you're ready, start it again. After three sets of that superset, gentlemen, your chest, your tries are gonna be screaming, but if you're ready for more, gentlemen, it all starts with the next set. You're gonna need your chairs. All right, what you're going to do is place them a little wider than shoulder width apart. And then what you're going to perform for your first exercise is chair push-ups. You're coming down through your hands. Down, hold it, and up. All right, now, if you wanna make this a little bit easier, all right, you can always go to your knees. Do it there. Now, you could also make this more challenging if you got a third chair. Down and up, down and up. And when you're finished, you're going down into 
tricep push-ups. Now, I call them tricep push-ups because instead of your arms being wide and your elbows going out, your elbows are actually going to be sliding in close tight to your body, all right? So it looks like this. Your hands are a little bit more narrow now than regular push-ups, and your elbows right there. See that? Boom. Pressing up, down, and up. When you're finished, as many as you can do, 10 to 15, somewhere in that range. The next and third exercise for this one is what I call an isometric chest squeeze. The way that you're going to do it, you're going to place your hands together, and all you're doing is pressing as hard as you can right there. Press your palms together, squeezing your chest hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. This bird's so much. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. All right, stretch it out a little bit, about five seconds, and again. All right, you're going to shoot for five of these. All right, now, if you don't want to press here, you can also press here. You can even just like squeeze your pecs together if you understand like muscle control and understand how to actually get the contraction. But pressing your palms together, hold them for 10 seconds. This is a destroyer of pecs. All right, you're doing five holds for 10 seconds, and then you're resting for 60. Damn, my pecs are pumped, gentlemen, and your pecs are going to be in fuego just like mine if you give this a try. So we've made it through the two first supersets, all right? There's one more that's even more advanced. It's going to just absolutely destroy you. But the whole premise and idea behind this workout is to get in there to those muscle fibers, right? Work them super hard, damage them a little bit, and then when we eat protein, it's actually the amino acids in protein that goes in and rebuilds those muscle fibers bigger and stronger. Speaking of protein, let's talk a little bit about why I am so in love with Beam. So I have tried a ton of whey proteins over the years, and Beam, there is nothing I have found that is smoother, that tastes better, that is higher quality. And the reason is because Beam controls their entire entire supply chain, all right? They source all the ingredients. The best way to think of it is like farm to table, right? They even have their own like flavor house. Beam's goal is to create superior products to everything out on the market in terms of quality, in terms of taste. The one thing that I absolutely love about their whey protein isolate is that they've added digestive enzymes. I'm telling you guys, they are next level in terms of quality. For you guys out there that are vegan, their vegan protein, I tried it. I'm like, no way, because I'm used to vegan protein being all like gritty and nasty and disgusting. This stuff is insane. It's delicious. It's also super smooth. But most importantly, the absorbability of their protein is better than other vegan proteins. The reason is because they use the mung bean. The mung bean has like a super high leucine content. This vegan protein is ridiculous. Something else for you guys out there that like a pre-workout, their pre-workout is insane. It's not going to make you all like nervous and jittery. And the reason is because of once again, the ingredients. They use real caffeine natural caffeine as opposed to the synthetic kind that you find in 99.9% .9 of other pre-workouts, resulting in super clean energy that's not going to leave you all like crazy jittery and nervous. Something else Beam offers that I have been loving is their collagen peptide. Now collagen, there's all sorts of like incredible benefits to using it, but I supplement it with my protein shake. Like after I'm done working out, a scoop of this in a shaker bottle with a scoop of this, right? A little bit of almond milk, maybe some water, I'll shake it up. Essentially, collagen is the most abundant protein in your body, your connective tissues. And what happens is when you supplement with collagen, it's going to help strengthen your hair, your skin, help you like anti-age. This stuff is ridiculous. Guys, Beam is doing some incredible things. The supplements are next level in terms of quality. And I think you're absolutely going to love them as much as I do. Guys, hit the link down below. Use the code alpha to get an incredible deal on some amazing products that are going to help you build big, strong, sexy muscles. All right, gentlemen, third and final superset. You're going to need these chairs. You have any idea what we're doing first? Exactly. We are doing body weight dips. Now, you got to test out your chairs and make sure that they're not going to tip on you, all right? It's about finding the balance, but what you are doing is a chest dip, all right? Down, stretch, and up. If the fitness gods came down and said, yo, Alpha, you can only choose one chest exercise to do for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'd be like, yo, body weight dips, no questions asked. Gentlemen, body weight dips are one of the greatest chest, tricep, shoulder exercises out there. I absolutely love body weight dips. Now, this exercise is challenging, all right? If you're not ready for that, you can always put your feet on the ground 
and give yourself a little help, as much help as you want, all right? You also need to make sure when you're performing this at home with chairs that you're careful. You gotta make sure that the chairs are sturdy and can support you, all right? Depending on you, your body weight, the chairs, you might need to test this out and actually start with your feet first. Another really cool thing about this exercise, depending on where you place the chairs, you can actually increase the intensity and how hard it is, all right? But you gotta make sure you listen to your body. Also, pay attention, make sure those chairs don't slide. If you feel any pain in your shoulder, you might not wanna actually do this exercise. But for me, like I said, this exercise is one of the absolutely best exercises you can do for your chest anywhere, anytime, including at home. Now, you're gonna do as many as you can, all right? I would say probably shoot for eight to 10, 15, somewhere in that neighborhood. When you're finished, all right, you're gonna go right down into push-ups, regular push-ups. Your form still is super solid, right? Body nice and straight, all right? Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width, right up there, all right? You're gonna shoot for 10 reps. Now, by this point in your workout, your chest, your tries, your shoulders, absolutely toast. But when you're finished with 10 to 12 push-ups, you're gonna finish this off with some incline push-ups. You're getting a chair, you're putting your feet up on the chair, and you are going down and up. And up, down, up, down, and up. Oh, woo! Ow, oh, gentlemen, when you're finished, your pecs are gonna be pumped like they have never been pumped before. Your triceps also get an incredible workout. One of the reasons why I love to do chest and triceps together is because when you're working the chest, your triceps are the muscle that are actually like kind of helping. And so you don't need to do as much in order to target those tries as well. Below this video, I'm gonna list all the exercises along with the sets. Give it a try. If you can only do a little bit now, no problem. It'll give you something to work towards and shoot for. If you wanna mix it up, maybe next workout, start in reverse order. Start with the third, and then go to the second set and then the first set, you get it. It's all about you. Do not worry about how long it takes you. Do not worry about what you can do or what you can't do. Nobody is watching. It's fitness. This is a personal journey and this is for you. Not only is exercise gonna help you get super freaking sexy, by the time this whole thing is over, you're gonna be like, yo mama, check me out. I've been doing Alpha's home workouts, exactly. It's about what exercise does for your brain. Guys, it helps you deal with stressful situations. It helps you be less anxious. And honestly, exercise is one of the things and tools that I use every single day to help me manage and deal with stress. Gentlemen, that's it. If you dug this video and want more home workouts, drop me one of these to be like, yo, Apple, let's do something for like my back and buys. That would be sick because I can't just walk around having big old pecs or maybe legs. <laughs> What's that? You don't want to do legs? Neither do I. But maybe, gentlemen, down below, drop one of these and I'll see you tomorrow.